Last time the Pacers have won six straight, December of 2019. Plumley and Turner jump it up, and LaMelo Ball has it. First possession to Charlotte. 84 in the first half, and that's with a full complement of Milwaukee players. Pacers turn it over. Rozier running, taken by Halliburton. And Buddy lays it in. 84 in the first half, and that's with a full complement of Milwaukee players. Pacers turn it over. Rozier running, taken by Halliburton. And Buddy lays it in. And Quinn, the other thing is, we know what this team is capable of. Remember what they did in this building last year? They scored 156. They can get points. The thing that they, they you know, when you look at them, because he was fearful of running over the defender, so he never got his foot or feet completely under him. Plumley hey! glides inside and scores. Ball and Rozier, a potent backcourt for Charlotte, and that's another turnover, but it's taken back by P.J. Washington. Drive his man and get a bucket. That was really fun to see for him. Miles Turner had a double-double in Charlotte back in November, 20 and 10. And the yellow ball with a sweeping shot off the glass. Yeah, but he had a, maybe didn't have the quantity, but he, he should have the, the, the quality shot, the one you really need. Yeah, exactly. I'll tell you what I just heard. That's going to be a holding. And Plumlee grabs his second rebound. So the Pacers have gone to the bench early here with McConnell and Matherin, and that's Rozier. Seven minutes of this first quarter. Adelbert goes inside to the corner. Is Matherin for three? Thank goodness, because I thought Lamella Ball was able to get in there and there was going to be a basket. Oh, no. Washington at the rim. He's a former NC State Wolfpack. He is. He's, he's, an athlete, he's been athletic, but, but in terms of being a guy that you look to score, they don't really do that. Took his eye off of it, and Martin took, took the ball. And again, what they were trying to get them to do was to pick up their defensive intensity, and they haven't been able to do that yet. And a loose ball foul. Was loose. You know, that's that's one of those uh, yeah. Halliburton kind yeah. of games. Yeah, when you handle it as much as these guys do, Nemhart strong again. 32-21, Charlotte. And Williams with that roll to the basket. And they, it, it doesn't take much for them to get their confidence. And anybody in this league with confidence gets going. They make it very difficult for you on the other end. Yeah, Rick Carlisle talked before the game that you cannot look at their record as Neesmith got it. And anybody in this league with confidence gets going. They make it very difficult for you on the other end. Yeah, Rick Carlisle talked before the game that you cannot look at their record as Neesmith got it. It was advanced by Nimhart. That's the reason the game's close. For sure, that's a big factor, as Coach alluded to, but uh, those big guys in the middle, they, they, they play Mark Williams, they play Pumley in there. But you can see that one. Halliburton missed that because he tried to get the foul on LaBella. What I, what I thought would happen, Chris, is because they gave up 130, 140 points. So back to back at the rim, ball hit the three. And he's going to shoot it again. This guy, he, he, he hadn't looked to get it going. He, he hadn't been on the floor long enough. Catch you again. Yeah, he'll shoot it again. There he is. That wasn't a heat check. I'm not sure what was. Uh, he, you're talking about a guy that just continues to dribble yeah. all the time. He does all the time. He is. Thank goodness he missed that. Now Fowling, Fowling, Fowling. Oh, goodness. We want to grab him. He's a bad foul shooter. And remember, they took the 14-point lead at the end of the first and the start of the second as Ball back in hits a three. And I'm the first one to get there. Not who jumps the highest who gets there quicker. Oh, Bissette steals it away. Buddy Heel. Get out! Cody Martin martinizes Buddy Heel. Great read by Brissett. Very good read. Ooh. And Martin swatted that out of there. One of four from three-point range for Seth. The Pacers have hit ten. Ball oh. scoops it up. No good. Rebound Matherin, and he threw it away. 
if you don't deliver the ball just in a natural rotation. And it, it, it really is, it's an unfair dribble. Not for, wow. for everybody, not just the pace. That's a big turn of events. Ball to the Hornets just had it to nine. He goes inside. Up and under, no good. Martin got the rebound and a technical foul on ball. Ball to the Hornets just had it to nine. He goes inside. Up and under, no good. Martin got the rebound. Nemhart has made four of five. Ball left open in the corner. Rebounded by Brissett. Hornets had a nine-point lead, but a 9-0 run by Indiana has erased it. Finally a two. This time it's McDaniel. Somebody can get beat like that. That's, what Rick is trying to do is make sure he's got some fresh legs when he puts him out there. Because he's going to have to play the balance of the half of the, of the quarter. Martin just hit a three, now drives. Don't get that close on him. Pacers have it. Running Nemhard. Put it in, it's a one-point game. He makes a good play by getting in the pass. 90 seconds to play, tied at 104. Ball, wraparound pass, Washington for three, and it's a three-point lead for Charlotte. This is, this is a great situation. Washington out to Cody Martin, fumbled it. Shot clock at six, blocked by Heal. This is, this is a great situation. Washington out to Cody Martin, fumbled it. Shot clock at six, blocked by Heal. Dennis Smith Jr. came in. Rozier splits the defense. Lost the ball, saved there by Dennis Smith. But those are the kind of plays he doesn't see.